I've made a start on cutting the patterns out for the design. This is with a left foot, so uh, this is the lining. Um, I've done the lining in a really nice soft cream leather um, and I've just labelled up, so this is the L's for the left foot. So this is the toe, um, you can see this is going to be the tongue part here and this is the the back, so this is where the back seam will go and these will be the straps that go around the front. So this is the lining side, left foot and then we've got the right foot pieces here. Uh, the next step is to cut out the fashion fabric which is that lovely brocade that I showed in video one. Um, I'm going to interface that and then I will put the two together. I have finished cutting the uppers. Um, they're not stitched or anything like that yet but I thought I'd just talk you through where I am so far. So this is going to be the toe piece. Um, that's the tongue there. Um, this is the lining of the tongue so this will go on the other side. Now the reason they aren't together at this point is um, I decided to kind of throw the gauntlet down with this design and I want to do some hand embroidery on the toe. Um, so I'll be doing that on the velvet and then I'll be reinforcing it with the leather as the lining. Um, so at the moment it's, it's the, the tongue that's been cut and then I've put interfacing into it and then I'm going to hand stitch embroidery pattern of some form on the toe just you know to make life hard. Um, this is what's going to be sort of the back and the straps on the on the front. Um, so it's this beautiful teal silk damask kind of print and then that the lining is the leather that you saw earlier and they've kind of they've been attached together now so it's the damask followed by the interfacing uh, then the leather so they're all prepped and I'm, I'm letting them sort of settle and cure and seal themselves together and the next stage for me is using these pieces of velvet to hand stitch some kind of filigree hop vine leafy type hand embroidery on the toe. So I'm just starting on the embroidery for the front of the toe. Um, so this is how it looks so far. So the only thing I've done really are the leaves and I've been using a satin stitch um, to do the leaves. I'm actually really new to embroidery. I've not really done an awful lot um, and everything that you will see will be self-taught using the help of YouTube tutorials and such. Um, the colour scheme for this is going to be a mixture of teal greens like in the brocadey damasky silk uh, on the rest of the shoe so it all ties in together. And then you'll see these little circles that I've just drawn on here. They're going to be little purple, almost like grapes really, because um, what I want to do on the soles um, is dye the veg tan and um, that I'll be putting, the veg tan leather that I'll be putting on the soles, um, like a nice deep shade of purple. Uh, I'm really pleased with how it's coming along. It is really tedious so it's taken me a couple of hours just to stitch the leaves. Um, I don't know whether that's because I'm just new to this. Um, this funny little mesh fabric that you see in between, this is actually dissolvable. Um, and that will just wash away with water and the reason I've done that is so that I can draw on my design just really roughly and it won't penetrate the uh, fabric, the velvet and then it'll just wash off and then I'll have the stitched on design uh, which is really handy. Okay so a quick progress update of the shoe so far. Um, I've done the embroidery on both of the toe pieces and I've started finishing off the backs. Um, so I'm just going to talk you through um, where I am and show you but I've kind of made a colossal error in the measurements for the actual pattern um, and I haven't accounted for a fold over in my lasting allowance and seam allowances and so the shoe, if you put the pieces together, the upper together, it comes up really 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 tiny and it can't fit over my lasts 
Um, so um, I'm going to have to completely readjust the design. I'm not going to scrap it. We're going to have to completely readjust the design to account for my errors, which is really stupid of me. Um, but hey ho, this was a learning project. Uh, it wasn't meant to go flawlessly. It was meant to be a learning experience and it's definitely been that fun yay okay so these are the pieces i was referring to in my little vent there so this is the embroidery piece um i'm actually really pleased with how that turned out i've not i've not really done any hand embroidery before so i'm really chuffed with um with my first efforts i know sort of seasoned embroiderers would look at this and go oh my god where is she doing that but um for a first stab i think that's that's not bad actually. I'm all right with it. I'm cool with it. So this was supposed to be the whole toe, and then this was supposed to be the back. Um, so I've got a nice furry edge that I've stitched in there. That um, oh, that's going to be lovely. And then we've got that lovely brocadey damasky teal green fabric here on the backs, and then these are the straps which go over the toe over this tongue piece here um, but when I put the two together the front and the back the whole thing doesn't go over the last so what I'm going to actually do is I do have a little bit left of this material so I'm actually going to completely adjust the toe design and do a third piece here or a fourth piece because that's two pieces there that's the third and there'll be a fourth piece on the toe here um, and I might round this off a little bit just to make it fit a bit nicer so that's what I'm going to have to do um, because I don't know if you can see but what I've done on the back here is I've folded over each of the pieces just to, to make the front smooth but what I didn't do when I was making the pattern for this was account for the fact that I'm going to have folded over every single piece um, before putting them together. So I've lost, you know, centimetres and centimetres of of upper and not not made allowances for that, uh, which is really just that's just stupid, um, downright stupid. There's no other explanation for that. But um, like I said before, it is a learning curve and, you know, maybe, maybe the design will look even better for a toe piece. I'm trying to stay positive about it. I don't, I don't want to have to spend all of, all of these hours hand stitching everything because, again, I haven't used any machines on this and hand embroidering for it to be a total loss. So um, I'm going to try and make the best of it and see how we get on. So, yeah, that's where we are. Um, the next stage is I'm going to just finish off stitching the other shoe of this and then I'm going to make the extra toe pieces and sew all the uppers together so I will do a next update when all of the uppers are stitched completely ready for lasting. Finally after hours and hours of sewing and frustration and cursing and being really fed up with how things are going I have finally got an upper stitched and ready for lasting. Ugh, I can't even begin to tell you how frustrating this project has been. Um, but I guess that's part of the learning curve. So let me quickly talk you through what we've got. So initially when I did the pattern, it was going to be an upper made of three pieces so it would be one toe piece and two back pieces pulled together to create an upper um, but somewhere in my calculations um, when I was doing the pattern I completely got it wrong like colossally wrong um, and didn't allow nearly enough pattern or upper to do any form of lasting at all. So what I ended up having to do was add on a piece to the toe and luckily I had some extra of the brocade fabric and also two side pieces as well which isn't great but it's the only thing I could do. 
and then because I had a load of raw seams um, and because I'm not used to working with um, fabrics um, I'm used to working with leathers and suede um, I had like loads of raw edges so what I ended up doing was hand stitching um, like an edging in purple satin uh, and then also just because of how I lined the fabric there was quite a big distinction in layer and level between this additional toe piece that I put on and the original toe piece the, with the hand embroidery on it so what I ended up doing was not only doing the edging in the satin like I did up here on these bits but also adding in I've got this sort of it will allow me to focus it's not focusing very well but it's kind of like um, a, a piping I guess and then I've stitched some lace on the toe uh, on the top sorry um, so all in all this is the piece so when I've lasted it this will kind of be two straps here and I'm going to put some I'm going to use the piping that I've used that as kind of like lacing here to lace them up and uh, be furry cuffs toe pieces and then you know it, it will look better when it's been lasted it kind of looks a bit odd to be honest it looks really odd at the moment um I don't know how it's going to turn out um but I'm hoping, I'm hoping it'll look better when it's lasted. Um, I'm kind of proud of how far I've come, actually, on my own, unassisted, doing this kind of thing. Um, but it has been incredibly frustrating so far. So Hello! So I thought I'd end the vlog here, the progress vlog. Uh, it's long enough and I've rambled on and on. Um, I will do a part three, which will show the lasting stages of the shoes and the completed article so you'll be able to see whether it was a success or a total failure um it could go anyway at this stage um but i hope you've uh, if you enjoy progress vlogs on quite creative projects then i hope that you've enjoyed seeing the journey i've gone through with this piece so far and if you want to see what it looks like at the end then hopefully maybe you'll watch part three when I get to part three. Um, but thank you for watching so far. Thank you. Bye.